Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, class. Good morning. <laughs> hey, it's a habit to say good morning. That's great. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, and you? I'm okay. How was your day today? Did you did you oh, anything <laughs> any interesting story in your job today? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Actually, yeah. Almost every day. <laughs> that must be so cool. I mean, yeah, it's very interesting what you do. Sometimes it's boring, really boring, but some days it's very exciting. Do you do you, for example, see people doing illegal things? Yeah, every day. <laughs> and and these people don't know that there are cameras watching. No, they do, actually. They do. They just don't care. They, exactly. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Irma, tell me, how was your first how was your first day of uh, in your work today? Hello, good evening. I was amazing. <laughs> I learned a lot of things today. <laughs> I did. learned to to use the copy machine <laughs> to, right. to use the a uh, register. How do you say caja registradora? <laughs> the register. The register. The register. Okay. okay. And I learned to to prepare books for this for sale uh, with plastic. It's very inter was very interesting my day today. But my foot, your feet. I, I feel pain in my foot. Why were you standing all day? All day, all day. Uh, once uh, only for the lunch. I I could to sit. I could sit. Oh man. Just for lunch. <laughs> but anyway, but I learned a lot of things. It was very interesting. Well, How was your day? Ah, it was it was interesting. But one last thing. And what happened in um what time did you leave your house? Oh what guy? Okay. No, what time did you leave your house today? Oh, I I couldn't I couldn't to to leave home at five a.m. I I could leave home at six a.m. at six a.m. <laughs> because I I felt a kind of sleepy <laughs> because I I felt very tired. Yesterday, I was doing a lot of things to prepare for this day. And I I went to bed very late, almost midnight. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> I imagine you were nervous. You had many things on your mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you, many... I was very nervous. Yeah, you had many questions. That, that, that usually happens. Yes. I I hope that in the next days, a uh, always be everything will be happy, uh, right. All right, nice, good for you. Hey, <laughs> check out my background so you can feel like you're in English class. Look. Oh, English! <laughs> it's a great background. <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello, Cecilia de Los Angeles, Adrián Ramos. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Um, I'm sorry, Cecilia de Los Angeles, Adrián Ramos is your married name? No, my married name is uh, Marroquín. Wow, but... so your name, your name would actually normally would be Cecilia de Los Ángeles, Adrián Ramos de Marroquín. Yes. Wow, that's a long name. Yes. <laughs> Marlon. You know, that's one thing, that's one thing that if you work in a call center or something, that's one thing that uh, 
gringos they they don't like what they like and they don't about Latinos because in the United States they only use two names your first name and your last name like yes like John yes, Smith true. yes you know and it's true. yeah and every time like when a when a Latino is like yeah hello hi can I have your name yeah Ana Elizabeth Son uh, Gonzalez de Hernandez <laughs> no, what <laughs> <laughs> it's true that's why but... uh, that's why there's always always a problem when people send remesas yes yes because if they send a remesa to cecilia the person not because ya están acostumbrados al método gringo de decir cecilia adrián so then you go yes i have a remesa for cecilia adrián yes can i have your dewey yes but look uh, in your dewey it says that your name is cecilia de los angeles adrián ramos yes <laughs> it's true to, Call that person again and tell them, look, you have to put my complete name. <laughs> oh my God, that's for real. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. I I and I'm I had that problem because where I love Bitcoin. I love Bitcoin really. <laughs> because <laughs> no tell the, us, what did you what do you why do you love Bitcoin? No, no. Well, actually, the reason is because in the in the during the day I work with a company, and the company is from the United States. But they deposit, they deposit to my account. The problem was that when they they deposit every Friday, every Friday they pay me with uh, bitcoins. No, I suggested Bitcoin because. Uh. I tried, I tried many things. Like, for example, if they told me, look, how, how do you want us to pay you? And I said, okay, why don't you deposit to my account? The problem was that their bank, their bank, they charge to, because it's an international account. So they the bank has to pay to send that money to an international account. Uh, but listen to this. Reason. Yes, but my bank, Cobra, charges to receive that money. Really? Oh, I had a, yes. a job like it. Yes, so you know what? I was paying $50 a week on in wow. commissions. Oh, wow. It's a lot of money. It, it was like $200 <laughs> for, for nothing. <laughs> Yeah. So and one day I said, wait a minute, we have Bitcoin. <laughs> and I told him, hey, can you deposit that to Bitcoin? Yes. And they told me, you have Bitcoin in also? Of course I do. And it's a legal <laughs> currency. And he said, and, and, and it's funny because a lot of my coworkers are from Argentina, from Chile, and they have many problems because every yes. time... Every country is different. So when they tell me, oh, my God, so you know how much I pay in Bitcoin? Nothing. <laughs> Only like 40, really? like 40 cents. Oh. So so what they do is that they deposit to Bitcoin. And I just turn the Bitcoin to dollars. And I go and take out the dollars. Yes. So, I, I, you know. And, and... Pretty easy, right? Mm -hmm. But before that, I also did that. Um. Como se llama remesas thing? And I, I, I always had a problem because siempre me ponían David Baltrons and every time I went to pick up the money, no, if, can I have your Dewey's? Yeah, but your Dewey's says your complete name and I had to call the company and contact the... the <laughs> Entonces, yeah, if you ever, if somebody is ever going to send you money from the United States... They have to uh, put all of your name. Your name according Completely. to your Dewey. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. Or do it Bitcoin. <laughs> that that's that's easier. Or you can do it PayPal as well. You know, I, I that was my next I that was my next option PayPal, but um, right now I'm happy with Bitcoin. <laughs> so <laughs> so I mean I had uh, last three months I have never had a problem with Bitcoin. But when I do, my next will be PayPal. But I really don't know how that works. It's pretty easy, actually. It's like a credit card, but uh, like a 
uh, I don't know how to say it. De estas nuevas que solo son como electrónicas. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same, but you can, uh, you have to pay a fee if you want to uh, uh, have the money on, on the physical. On physic. Yeah, but if you use like uh, electronic things, it's pretty easy. Yeah, but yeah, I, I heard about that, but sometimes I like to have physical money. <laughs> yeah. In El Salvador, I mean, you know. It's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember I had an experience uh, a long time ago. <laughs> in 2010, I was working in a call center from home. Mm -hmm. And the enterprise is in the United States. Okay. It's a uh, Manuel Solis Law Firm. Okay. Um, but I remember that I had a account in Chase Bank. But okay. um, my withdrawals. Withdrawals? Uh, yes, I had to do it in Scotia Bank ATM when when we had a Scotia Bank. But I the commission was around five dollars, I remember. That wasn't ten. bad. Mm -hmm. But you know, in but yeah, it, it was good. But I imagine you got paid every fifteen days or every month. Yes, uh, every fifteen days. Uh, yeah, so I to pay five five dollars commission every fifteen days was okay. But imagine me, I had to pay fifty dollars every week. So I said, no, 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 I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's no. That's no, so friendly the idea. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I went to back, eh, Banco El Back. I, yo no sé quién son ellos ya, si son credomatic or agric or whatever. And I said, why? Oh, yeah, it's credomatic. Uh -huh. And I told them, why are you charging me? And I, I said, I don't understand. So I'm paying com the bank that deposit the money, they had to pay commission to I don't know who. Mm -hmm to send the money and you are charging me to receive the money. And they said, yes. Why? <laughs> they charge they charge for everything. I mean everything and everything. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Everything and anything. Banks are devil. Or the bills. Yeah. A bill? Demon? <laughs> Banks they, are demon. <laughs> they, they're evil. Evil. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Irma, what is that sound? Is there like fireworks. a sound? Fireworks. It's fireworks, fireworks, right? Yes. Oh my yes. God. I thought it was here in my house. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? What is going on here? <laughs> I don't know why they are... Uh, I, I hope that the rain comes again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I live I live in Colonia Vistermosa, and I know. and yeah, it's like right next to La Montserrat. Mm -hmm. I so, I know. Oh, okay. So, um, but I don't know why. So Montserrat and and and, and Vistermosa is like right next to each other. So I can go walking and. But there's another neighborhood is called Ladina, which it was a very dangerous neighborhood mm. before. What well, but what I want to say is that in February or something, they have their fiestas patronales, right? <laughs> a lot of fireworks. <laughs> no, but you know what I really hate because their their I their church is la de Montserrat. <laughs> And one time, one time I I got into a fight, argument with the priest, con el sacerdote, man. Because... Fight? No, not a fight, an argument. Oh. Because the, the Dina, when fiestas patronales, 
they start at four in the morning oh. every day on a weekday, Monday, Tuesday, oh. to celebrate. Like, oh. pero voy a con cuetes, ah, man, 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 in the main street. I... And one time, I really, and I remember my baby, he was recent, he was born, he, he, he was days old. And I said, what the hell is that? But really, like, like party, so man. It was, it was, and, and I went on a Sunday and I went to speak with, with the um, priest. And I told him, what the hell is that, man? What? So it's, it's, it's a tradition. But but really use use your your head. That's <laughs> Use your head. What do you expect at four in the morning? Everybody in this neighborhood works. Do you expect people to come out with their happy face? Hey, hey. <laughs> it they, doesn't make sense. <laughs> and they say, yeah, he says you don't understand. No, you don't understand because you don't work. You do nothing. <laughs> and, but and, they you don't know, work. No, exactly. I I am atheist. You say that they also. I have no problem of of arguing. Hmm. No uh, worry. No, and yeah, no, but I didn't disrespect them. But I think that was very disrespectful what they did. Yeah, I but, understand that. And it's funny because now I moved to. Well, in that time, I I lived in Montserrat. Now I I moved to La La Vista Hermosa. And you can still hear them. Se oyen a lo lejos. Like, like right now, Irma, like the cuetas. <laughs> and I said, oh, my God, those people. <laughs> I mean, but for you hear, me, you hear very it very disgusting. distant. Yeah. For me, it's very disgusting. Uh, and my my puppies, they they, they are scared. afraid because I have three, three dogs. Do you want one? <laughs> <laughs> They are Please puppies. Help me to, to find home for them. Are, are they puppies? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Adults, adults. <laughs> they oh. are adults. <laughs> oh. I I say them puppies because for your babies. Yes. What breed? Babies. What breed are they? Hmm? What breed? Rasa. What breed? Oh, I didn't understand. Um. There's no bread. Um, maybe Siberian. <laughs> no, no. The, the reason why I'm asking is because um, I want a dog, but I, I don't you care. Dog? Yeah, but I, oh. I don't know. But there's a reason. I don't care if it's a wakatero or not. But what I'm saying is the breed, porque si es un husky, no, because I am very allergic <laughs> to the hair. Sí. They are very. Oh. <laughs> yes. How do you say traviesos? Naughty. Naughty. <laughs> I had two, two uh, uh, dogs, adults uh, as well, oh. that was res rescued uh, oh, three, three years ago. Um, they are Australian. They have the uh, operation. The uh, operation? Uh, oh, they oh. were operated. Okay, they were sterilized. The sterilized. Okay, mm -hmm. they are sterilized. Um, oh, okay, my my son, he has a uh, ADD. Mm -hmm. That is a attention deficit. Oh, oh so it's not very serious, but you know he has it. So, mm -hmm. um, many doctors have recommended me to have a dog. Oh, if you mm -hmm. want, I can send you the pictures uh, of my two sure. dogs. Yes, but uh, yes, but that's the second thing. The second thing is I want a dog too, but like I said, I am very allergic to dogs, to to air, like yeah. cats. I really, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, class, if somebody loves cats, <laughs> but I really hate cats. <laughs> I have two. <laughs> I love cats. Oh, I man. have two cats. Cats sorry. kill me. No, you know. Don't. No. no worries. <laughs> no wait, wait. worries. No, let, let me change. I will send you the, the picture of my two dogs. But okay. the husky, no. Okay. No, it's just not... the one that were re rescued uh, for the pandemic. In the time of the pandemic, I rescued because oh, okay. I wanted to, to find a good home for oh, them. Good. But I couldn't. Okay. Oh, okay. 
But yeah. now is time. Yeah. You know, it's not that I, I really, I don't hate cats. It's just, I, I don't like them, but because they kill me because I had a problem in my work because of cats. My oh. neighbor, my neighbor, she lives in front. Mm -hmm. I really like what she does, but she's not very nice because oh. every day she takes out a big, okay, in my block, we are eight houses, only eight houses. One day I opened the door and I counted 18 cats in the street. Oh my God. 18 cats. <laughs> yes. And the reason is because that lady, she takes out a big bowl of cat food. Oh. My cats. Oh. Okay. And it's okay. Rescue. I understand the human part, but then because of that, there's always cats yeah, but that's filthy actually exactly mm -hmm. and you know the ironic the ironic part is that she doesn't have cats in her house no le gusta. so uh -huh. so oh, it, it, where where i live in my house my i have a garage which is closed and, mm -hmm. and my my gate is electrical so every mm -hmm. morning every morning when i open the the, the gate i see like five or six cats jump out they sleep in my garage <laughs> so what happens is that when they get scared a pelo <laughs> starts flying yeah and, and look i get allergies like in a boxing fight um mm -hmm. i get so i i actually had problems in my job me mandaron to examen de droga because you know like i go all happy and then when i see the cats <laughs> when i'm driving so when i get home when i get but to the office yes i had to and then i my boss told me why are you so red your eyes are o sea de verdad parecía que llegaba de una goma de <laughs> and, I, and i had to explain to my boss look i'm sorry i'm allergic to cats and i have this problem because my neighbor and my you know he said oh okay okay my boss understood but then many people around mm -hmm. empezaron a decir, man, miren, ese muchacho siempre viene. Or, I don't know. <laughs> COVID, or, COVID. So. <laughs> so one day they called so they me. They complained to, to HR. <laughs> yes, they called me to HR. And they told me, look, yeah. uh, it has become an attention <laughs> that you frequently come. <laughs> and I explained to them. And they told me, is it okay if we can do a test? Yes. Qué mala onda de ustedes, but yes, go ahead, do the test. <laughs> wow, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's why. It's what it Most is. Terrible. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I had a I had a boyfriend that he was allergic. <laughs> no, it's terrible because you know some people the 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 um the reactions to allergies are different. Some people they mm -hmm. can't stop sneezing. In my case, cats, mm -hmm. I I I get bloated. Me hincho. And for the dogs, aren't you allergic? Yes, but to the hair. You see, that's the thing. I am allergic to the hair. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But no worries. My <laughs> my uh, dog doesn't uh, throw hair. <laughs> oh, okay, good. You need one of of those dogs that from Mexico that doesn't have any hair at all. No, well, for example, my father he had boxers, and they were uh -huh. okay because they didn't have a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. Um, and my my father, my my brother in law, he has a Chihuahua, but it's <laughs> like a mouse, and that's cute. I I play with them, and but I you know get some like huskies. Oh my god! <laughs> Just by looking mm -hmm. at at that. Dog. I, I, I don't recommend. I don't recommend. Yeah. Cecilia, you have two cats, you said. Yes, I have two cats. And um, I have cats, I don't know, all of my life. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> I good. need cats in my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, let me see. Where is my lawyer? Where is the lawyer? Who was the lawyer? Laura, Laura, right? Uh, yes. No. Who, who I... is the lawyer? Oh, no. Catherine, there she is. I'm not a liar. 
Catherine, do you have cats? No, I don't have. I have two dogs. Okay. Let me give you a, a Catherine, you don't have children, correct? I can see a cat no. right now. <laughs> Laura. Oh, oh yeah, Laura. <laughs> Laura, do you have children? Yes. Laura? Okay. Joanna, do you have children? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Let me, before we start the class, just to finish this, and then maybe this is for Catherine and our people who don't have children. Um, I We lost a baby once because my wife, she, she got toxoplasmosis. And what is that? We didn't know. Toxoplasmosis is, is a disease. It's usually is caused by cats or birds. Uh, usually, and but rats as well. not always. And right. No, yes, yes. I understand. No, but okay. usually people are immune to that. But there are some people that are not. Mm -hmm. So, but you don't know. Like, for example, my wife, she never had a cat in her life, but... One time a cat bit her when she was little mm -hmm. oh, and that nice. cat infected her. Uh -huh. And so my wife, you know, and um, another bad experience I had with toxoplasmosis was my best friend. Mm -hmm. um, he, he, my best friend, he, he's gay. And uh, so of course he had like three cats. Hmm. So one day, you know, with my wife, my wife told me, Mira, hey, Carlitos, I don't know, man, he hasn't called me. So I started calling, hey, Carlitos, where are you? Carlos, where are you? Hey, do you want to come to my house and have a barbecue? Or... So I lost contact for eight months. So I decided to go visit him with my wife. And when we saw him, he looked, he looked like um, a prisoner from Auschwitz. Um, really Maybe. that's that's the description he was like <gasps> when I saw him oh, Carlos, really I thought he had AIDS it was a very stupid uh, it was a very stupid reaction but when, when it was so shocking when I massive. saw him mm -hmm. because he was because he was always fat and he was skinny, skinny. Oh, Carlos what's wrong with you are you okay are you dying what and he says, no, I'm actually getting better. What happened? Mm -hmm. I was about to die. He had he had toxoplasmosis from the cats. So um, but that's what I'm I'm, I'm not trying to scare class because you know people have lived mm -hmm. with cats all their life, but some people, some people are can get contagious. And the reason why the doctor told my friend, he says, get rid of your cats. What happens is that cats in a bubu mm -hmm. se hace duro tan tan rápido que se hace polvo. Mm -hmm. Y que se no se polvo está volando en la casa and you, you're smelling it. But like I said, some people are immune. Son inmunes, but some are not. So Catherine, mm -hmm. Catherine, Alejandra, if you ever decide in the future to have a baby, mm -hmm. It's a good mm -hmm. idea to have a toxoplasmosis test, you know, solo por. Just in or, case. Yeah, just in case, you know, don't be, because it's very sad. We, we we lost a baby, man. We, my baby was four months. You know, por algo que se pudo haber prevenido, but we didn't know. So after that, I, I recommend people that have cats or pericos or something to, um, hey. Uh, teacher, uh, as well, or also, there is another reason, a part of the cats, uh, when you eat uh, meat without cook very oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. un undercooked. Undercooked. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, you can, if, if the meat is contaminated, Oh yeah, that that is not only toxoplasmosis. That can give you mm -hmm. everything. Because mm. I remember that one one singer Shakira, Shakira, I, I remember my ex. You, oh, how was? 
<laughs> I, I am thinking about adopting her children, you know. But I get think I'm papa. Not for the oh money. Oh my god. <laughs> Not for the money. No, it's true. Oh. It's true. Uh, the food. Well, you know, here here's a story for you. Do you know where Mal de Mayo comes from, Jose Daniel? El dicho Mal de Mayo, do you know where that comes from? Mal de Mayo. Remember, you, I think that's something it's about, El Mal de Mayo. What happens in El Mal de Mayo? Hmm. So, everybody, oh, man, <laughs> everybody has diarrhea, correct? Do you know where that expression comes from, El Mal de Mayo? No. Do you know? Yeah, I was listening to the radio. Mm. I don't know if they still pass that, pero como a mediodía pasan información y que empiezan a dar como cosas informativas o culturales. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> yes, that, it was that. <sighs> and, you know, it was very interesting. I learned where a huevo comes from, like a huevo, oh. and mal de mayo. <laughs> mal de mayo comes because in mayo is, is one of the biggest seasons for fruit in El Salvador. Oh. So there's fruit everywhere. So the fruit falls from the, from the trees. So usually a lot of people get the fruit and they just eat it. Mm. You know, without cleaning it. like oh. Without cleaning it. Yes. And what happens? You get diarrhea. You go to the bathroom. <laughs> you leave all the... <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, this is like the domino effect. Because imagine... <laughs> por one stupid man, hey, un mango, did he just, yes or no? Yo lo hice también. <laughs> oh. You know, you see a mango, like you just clean it with your shirt and you just start eating it. Yes. It's good with dirt. Yes, but you don't wash it or anything. So you get sick. You get That's diarrhea. how you get the fans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but what happens is that you go to your house, you go, wow, I mean, <laughs> You go to the bathroom, you know, I dejamos los bacteria, and then the next person catches it. <laughs> and that's when it starts spreading el mal de mayo. Because May is a very, uh, it's a month for the fruit. <laughs> so, you know, uh -huh. it makes sense. Oh, okay, por eso es el mal de mayo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Interesting. Now we know. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And a huevo, do you know where a huevo oh. comes from? Tell us. They were tell they were saying that in the war, there was a war. I think it was maybe the Civil War in El Salvador. And when they sent the soldiers to the mountains, sometimes the soldiers had to stay there two months, three months. You know, it's not like today that hey, me toca descanso. No, they had to live in the mountains. So what happened was that the government gave them money or, or coupons. Mm. So okay. then the soldiers, they can come to El Pueblo, buy food, and pay the store with the coupons. And, and the logico, los dueños de la tienda, they go and go exchange the coupons to the money, right? But the problem, because there was a war, there was no food, all they had was eggs. Solo huevos. Entonces, puro huevo vamos a comer. A huevo vamos a comer. A huevo. Yeah. And that's, that's where the expression came. Hey, a huevo. A puro huevo vamos a comer. How do you say, anyway? Anyways, Yeah. <laughs> You know, so yeah, it's in interesting. I, 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 I am driving Mikhail. Hey, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. But you you know, English has many, many interesting words too. The idioms. Yeah. For example, maybe you know this. Do you know where the word excuse me, but I'm going to say a bad word, but oh. I will explain why. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Do you know, <laughs> have you ever heard somebody say fuck? Ah, yeah. yes. A lot of time in the songs. 
That's my favorite word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, movies. I, I think yeah, movies I, too. I think even in Spanish, I think that's a word in Spanish now. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It's the, a bad expression. Yes, but the origin of that word comes from fíjese que todo viene medieval in the medieval times. You know how in Europe they were always in war? Yeah. So what happened was, imagine Susana. Mm -hmm. You lived in England and your husband uh, England was in war with France. Otra vez. So mm -hmm. your husband had to go fight. And oh. then when everybody returned, your husband didn't return. But you don't know because you ask, hey, where's my husband? I don't know. So you don't know if your husband died, killed, or he was captured, or he escaped. Was that? But to the majority of, of wives, like, oh, I'm sorry, Irma, your husband died. Here's his body. Oh. But sometimes there were women that they, they never knew what happened to their husband because The army never knew what happened. Hey, we don't know. So, Susana was a housewife. El mundo machista de antes. Yeah. A woman, a woman only cooked and cleaned, and she had to serve her man. So, in this problem was that Susana didn't have a man, and she still had to live. She had children. Mm -hmm. So. But if Susana decided to have another man, that was fornication. Porque oh. really, she was still married. So Susana had to go ask permission to the king. And oh, say, I heard that one. Yeah, and say, hey, king, this is my situation. Um, My husband never returned. We don't know. Or maybe there was a limit, like, hey, if your husband doesn't return in three months, So the king, if the king accepted your situation, they gave you un titulo, a diploma or a pass que decía, fuck, F, fuck. F period, U period, C period, K period. And that meant <laughs> fornication under consentment of king. <laughs> that is the meaning of fuck. Yes. So that means if <laughs> oh my God. that means if Susana she had a different man. Ya no podía hablar de ella. Oh my God, pero ya está casado. No, she 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 had <laughs> she had the consentment of the I king. Have permission of the king. <laughs> to have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. So that's what <laughs> Yeah, pretty fun. <laughs> so so really it was really not a bad word. <laughs> oh yes, <that's> bearable. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. But you do understand, right? So I don't want you to say, hey, can't believe it. Like, ah, fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, do, do you know the expression, the middle finger? You know, white people, the middle finger is, is bad, right? Oh. oh, yes. Okay. Do you know why people always say, why the middle finger? Why, why, why not? Why? The index, but why the middle finger? Uh -huh. And there was a war, otra vez, in medieval times. And the king of France told his soldiers, hey, when you catch a prisoner, cut his middle finger. Uh -huh. Cut it. Why? Because, <gasps> como era, como era con, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, with uh arrow uh, with the arrow uh, uh, yeah because uh, remember uh, in that time arrow. in that time the majority of soldiers they had a bow and arrow and you really need your middle finger huh. oh yeah so that's why yeah. they the the order the the um the king he ordered his army eight hey, when you catch an englishman cut all their finger all their middle fingers pero mm. England le dio una taleada a Francia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when the Frenchmen looked at at the king or the franceses le sacaban el dedo en medio like toma. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, so when they yeah, when they, when they when they destroyed the king, they 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 gave him the finger. 
<laughs> <laughs> interesting, huh? Interesting because uh, uh, the most people they don't know what they do do it. Yeah, do you, it. you know, you know, yeah. Like, um, do you know where, for example, the last okay, the last one. Uh, do you know where okay comes from? Sorry, what? Okay. Okay. Yes. No. Tell us, Susan. Uh, it was also in a war <laughs> yeah. that when um they were like uh counting all the soldiers and everything every day, mm -hmm. uh they uh they uh, um they used to like como abreviar, uh -huh. uh, zero kills. So that's why the the, the word yeah. come from. Zero killed, yes. Zero killed in battle. Yeah. So imagine Edson. He he lives in Soyapango, and there was a there. He he was the captain. Hey, and, why Soyapango? No, 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 so, no. Listen to this. Imagine Edson. Edson. <laughs> no, there was a war, right? So Edson Sensitive was in Soyapango. <laughs> Edson was the captain in Soyapango, and, and then and then Edson heard that in Santa Tecla there was like a me like a battle. So Edson sent his messenger. Hey, oh my God, how are you? And the captain of Santa Tecla, he would put, we are okay. So there were zero killed in battle. So it was zero like secret killed. secret codes to communicate. Oh, today I have learned a lot of things, <laughs> really. That's history. Now, I will say- General okay, culture. The, yeah. yeah, exactly that one. We all the knowledge. My my wife sometimes they, they call me Sheldon because <laughs> it's not because I, I like to talk <laughs> like like for example when we have friends and they come over and like salun tema hey do you know why it's like that let me tell you the story <laughs> <laughs> you know we're drinking beer that but well, when you're drinking tequila and beer it's more interesting. <laughs> History. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes I mean, David, how come first world and third world? How come there's no second world? Okay, so let me tell you the story. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> yeah, you see, the history actually comes from uh, communism. <laughs> <laughs> that is very interesting because uh, if you do something like that, you are doing with all the conscious. Yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> That's why I, I like to teach my, my, my son little things, you know, like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you see my screen class? Do you see the lady? Yes. She oh, is. In she part teacher. of teacher. her face. She looks very, um, se llama eso? Mo Mosiac. <laughs> All right. So. She uh, seems like Baron Nashler. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Baron Nashler? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, messenger. let me see. Messenger, yeah. What was it? Messenger's uh, Afro, Afrodita, right? His... Afrodita, Koji Kabuto. <laughs> you know, once I started watching He Man in, in He Man and in um, Netflix, and wow. really, it was boring. <laughs> and I said, Wow, why did I like this when I was a little kid? I because I really liked it, but now when I watch it, it's like it was boring. Because maybe it's with person. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, I so let's <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so let's do the intro video, which I think we did yesterday, no? Welcome. New I had to go to the hardware store. I'm sorry, we did we did the video yesterday of, of the people there. Okay, describing problems. Let's see this. Hi, on the following video, we will show you how to describe problems. We will do it in two ways, using past participles and using nouns. Stay and learn how. Describing problems one, with past participles as adjectives. The jacket lining is torn. The tabletop is damaged. That vase is chipped. My pants are stained. 
Her sunglasses are a little scratched. Their new aquarium is leaking. With nouns. It has a tear in it. There's a hole in it. There is some damage on the top. There is a chip in it. They have a stain on them. There are a few scratches on them. It has a leak in it. As we said in our intro video, we will show you two ways to describe problems. The two sets of sentences you're about to see have more or less the same meaning. We may say, something is torn or has a tear in it. As you noticed in our first sentence, we use past participle. This time again, acting as adjectives. This is the structure we will use. Subject plus B plus past participle as adjective. My dress is torn. The other way to describe a problem is to use nouns. In this case, we must use subject plus have plus noun, or there is, there are plus noun. In a real sentence, this is how it would look like. My dress has a stain on it, or there is a stain on it. Now you practice. Follow my example. My glasses are broken. Now you try. Look at these following images and choose the past participle of these verbs. Type your examples on our discussion box. Okay, first of all, do you know what are the past participle verbs? I know no. some of them. Okay. What would you say are the past participles in Spanish? Uh, pasado, participio, pres presente perfecto. No, that's the, that's, that's the um, grammar pasado, part. Pasado, participio. Yeah. Ando, I would... endo. Exactly, yes. Ado, edo, ido, odo, udo. Any verbs oh. that finish in that are the past participles. Uh -huh. Yes. Beber, bebido. Mm. Nadar, nadado. Tomar. Mm -hmm. Ver, vido. No. You no. can't say vido. It's visto. visto. So, visto. so what happens is that there are exceptions. But 80 or 90% of the time, they finish in ado, edo, ido, odo, udo. So, in English also, the majority of the verbs finish in ed when they are regular verbs. When they're not, they don't finish in ed. And I'm sorry, that's the biggest explanation I can give you. Because there is no explanation why irregular verbs are said different. Because broke, broken, con en. So if you say, no. ¿cuál es lo que termina en en? There's no rule. The only rule for past participle is if the verb is regular. So if the verb is regular, it finishes in ed. Mm -hmm. Then the past participle is ed too. Mm -hmm. Just in regular. Mm -hmm. But there are... Uh, some verbs that they don't change in all time. For example, put. Uh -huh. Teacher, can you give me an example? Example of what? I'm of sorry. the um, the the where you were saying about the uh, okay yeah. past participle and the verbs. Oh, yes. Okay. Um. First of all, when yo le dije vido, everybody laughed. Okay. Si yo sigo la la lógica. Comer, comido. Beber, bebido. Correr, corrido. So, you know, you know, people start saying, oh, okay, entonces terminan en ido. But no, because then you have ver es vido. You, by logic, people would say es vido. No, ahí es visto. Why? I don't know. It's an exception. So, the same thing happens in English. Mm -hmm. When the verb, uh, Susana, do you know what a regular verb is? How do you know when the verb is regular? I have no idea. I don't know okay. much about grammar. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no worries. When the verb ends in ed. All right. For example, work, working, and I worked. Cook. Cook, cooking, cooked. So those verbs finish in ed mm -hmm. in the simple past. 
So when they finish an ED, that's the same pronunciation and the same for past participle. So for wow. example, I cooked, cooked I is cociné or cocinado mm -hmm. in English. I have if, cooked. Uh -huh. If I say I cooked, it's mm -hmm. cociné. I have cooked, is yo he cocinado. Oh, all right. But mm -hmm. he said, pero lo mismo, cooked. Yes, because it's a regular verb. Now, there are some verbs that are not regular. For example, break. Break, breaking, and the past is broke. Broke. So broke. many people would say, it doesn't past participle is broke. No, it's broken. Why? We don't First, know. We don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, there really there's no explanation. You can try to find it and there's no explanation. Igual no creo que va a encontrar alguien que le diga, ¿y por qué es vido y no por qué es visto y no vido? <laughs> you know, there's really there's no explanation for that. Uh -huh. Because vido sounds ugly. Uh-huh. <laughs> and visto sounds great. <laughs> uh -huh. You can just give your simple mother or father explanation porque yo digo que es así, ok, ya estuvo <laughs> because I say that <laughs> yes so what it says here when you describe a problem, there's two ways of describing it you can use a past participle for example my, where's my cell phone my cell phone is broken it's similar to Spanish Hey, mi celular está quebrado. Uh -huh. Or you can use a noun. How would you say that? Okay, so I said, hey, look, my cell phone is broken. But if I want to use a noun, what, what do I say? Mm, this is broken. No, broken is a verb. Oh. Mm, I don't know. How was the, how was the question? So listen, imagine imagine you repair phones. This is broken. Oh. Bro bro okay, no, so hold on, let me go back to the Look what it says here. Look, describing problems. You can describe with past participles or with nouns. So Irma, imagine you are a phone technician. Mm -hmm. And I say, excuse me, do you repair cell phones? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh okay, look. Now I say, what's wrong? Oh, look, it's broken. Okay, so I'm oh. using a past participle. Mm -hmm. What about if I want to use a noun? What would I say? It has a... Good. A break on it. It has oh, a crack. The cell phone is damaged? A crack on it. Okay, it's damaged. Yeah, but damaged... Damage on is similar screen? to broken. It's it's past it's on a verb. The screen? Mm -hmm. But that was good, Susan, too. Okay, that's another word. Uh that's another verb. Oh, my cell phone is damaged. But damaged mm -hmm. is a verb, so it's a past participle. So I can say, hey, look, my mm -hmm. cell phone is broken, or my cell phone has a crack. Uh, has a screen. crack. Cell phone has a crack. Has a crack. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that crack is a noun. Oh, a crack. Okay. For example, if I say uh, man mancha, uh, mm -hmm. my cell phone had a. How do you stain. say mancha? Stain. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah. Your cell phone has a stain mm -hmm. in the screen, on yep. the screen. Mm -hmm. Hey, talking about cell phones, do you want to see something funny? Look, this is my cell phone, but look at the cover. Don't laugh. Hmm. Wow. I can appear. <laughs> Sparkling. <laughs> it's pink. Really? It's a pink and purple cover. Oh, beautiful white. color. No, it's curly. <laughs> what? Look, it's a pink and purple. Oh my god, it's so sad. I have to. I have to have a pink and purple cover. At least it's not a kitty cat. <laughs> Era de Hello Kitty. 
<laughs> and let me tell you the story. Let me tell you the story. What happened okay. is that my wife and I, we had the same phone. Exactly the oh. same phone. But my wife, she changed her plan, so she changed her phone. And I don't care. I continued with my old phone. And my my original cover cracked. It had a crack in it. Mm -hmm. So I went to different stores. Hey, tienen un cover para Motorola G60? No, 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 no. And I couldn't find a cover. So my wife told me, hey, mira, I still have some de los viejitos de mi ex phone. Let me see. No, no, estos son muy, you know, girl. <laughs> y lo boté y ni modo. So now I have a pink. But you can change it. Of course I will, but I can't find it. I can't find it. <laughs> and you know, and sometimes I forget. Last time I was in Metro Centro and I was talking. Oh, yeah. And I see sometimes people looking at me. Porque really, I mean, <laughs> look, it's a girl phone. Uh, that is cute. Do you know, my friends, they came to visit me. We had a barbecue in my house. Y saben cuál fue mi apodo? Barbie. Ah. Uh. Why? Because, Why because I have a Barbie phone. <laughs> ah, la Barbie fever. Barbie fever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> si me han acabado, me tomaron fotos, me han subido al grupo. But the way, did you watch it? No, no. <laughs> no, I haven't watched it. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah. Sorry, I just have one question. Sure. Um, about the the the, the phrase that we were uh doing the, the sample, mm -hmm. uh, on my cell phone has a crack, is with the ed at the end, right? No, no. no. When when it's a noun, remember a noun is a name. Mm. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Oh. Right. Yeah, so only a verb can change, but a noun is is, is a name. Oh, sorry. Mm. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Por ejemplo, ejemplo, en español está el verbo rayar. ¿Cuál sería el participio? Eh, rayar. Rayado. Pero ¿cuál sería el noun? Tiene una raya. Raya, uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh, so if I go and I said, hey, my cell phone is scratched. In, in, in English, rayar, the verb is scratch. Mm. So I can go, hey, look, my phone is scratched. Está rayado. Or my phone has a scratch. My phone has a scratch. Mm. You scratch. use the verb as a noun. No, 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 no. Uh, no, don't confuse verb and noun. No. Remember, uh, no. So I use the verb in past uh -huh. participle. My phone is scratched. It's scratch. It's a verb. Uh huh, the verb. But if I use the noun, ¿qué tiene? oh, my phone has a scratch. Ah, okay. Scratch. Tiene una raya. Okay. In so imagine, imagine, in my, imagine in my sell you my phone. Hey, you want to buy my phone? Look at it. Ah, uh, look, it has a scratch. In mm. a raya. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, hey, look, but your phone is scratched. Is using as a verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. Mm -hmm. if you use. As a noun, you you can transform that verb in a in a noun. Yeah, I mean a noun. Remember, a noun is is a, simply a name. A noun is a store, a, name. Mm -hmm. a store, a, name. a car, a scratch, <laughs> a scratch, a stain, a mountain. It's anything. Uh, it's a person, a place, or a thing. I am understand. Yeah. Do you have a car? Do you have a job? Yes. Do you have... Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you remember when you broke up with your first love? 
when you <laughs> thought, yeah, your first boyfriend or girlfriend, maybe you were 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and you were really in right. love and, oh, I'm going to marry. He's the most beautiful man in the world. She's the most beautiful. And then you just, and then you break up. So then you say, I am destroyed. Hmm. You know, I'm using the I verb. I am lost. <laughs> I am lost. Or you can say, <laughs> and now I have a hole in my heart. No. <laughs> Uh, I remember those days when, oh, <laughs> remember those days when you would call your girlfriend or your boyfriend? Okay, yeah, me wait, bye, hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Mm. Uh -huh. I remember. Okay. Count to three. One, two, three. Ah, you didn't hang up. The memory comes to my mind. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, talking about Barbie, my wife told me, hey, let's go see Barbie. And I said, no. <laughs> she said, why? I'm like, why? We're married. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> the only men who go watch Barbie in this moment are two types of men. Men who really like Barbie <laughs> or men que tienen dos semanas de andar con la chava. <laughs> and <laughs> But we're married, so I don't need to go. Si quieres te la bajo. <laughs> yeah. And she says, oh, que cruel sos. Do you remember I went to watch Sex on the City to the movies with you? <laughs> ¿Cuánto teníamos de andar? Un mes. Do you think I like Sex in the City movies? No. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but you know. Okay, so do you understand the difference of how do you how do you explain to describe a problem? We'll continue a little bit more about that tomorrow. All right. Yes. Okay. Por ejemplo, piensen en palabras como cuando llueve. Uno dice todo San Salvador está inundado. That's a verb, right? That's a past participle. Flood, mm. right? It's flooded. 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 Mm -hmm. it's just, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. really? And if I say when it's raining now, salt is on me. What? That uh, sounds very depressing. What happened? <laughs> yes. For example, for example, I'm not depressed. <laughs> okay. No, but it's it. For, for example, if it's raining and I see, oh, it's raining. There is sad on me. There is sad I, on me. Can I say like this? Uh, is it correct? No, because you see what happens is that 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 is an idiomatic expression. Mm. Y hay sinónimos, pero no hay. Eso sí, le voy, le voy a recomendar una cosa, ¿ok? Y se la voy a decir en español porque. A veces hay gente que ve películas o algo así, la ven con subtítulos. Uh -huh. Yo no les recomiendo ver con subtítulos y si lo van a ver, entiendan algo. Que el subtítulo no está traduciendo, está interpretando. Ok, eh, por ejemplo, eh, ¿cuál es una expresión que usamos en español? Llueve sobre mojado. Ah, ajá. Eh, o tal para cual. That, that's a famous one. Tal para cual. Eh, es lo que le estaba explicando ayer a, a, a mi abogada aquí, de que el, eh, a la hora de traducir es bien diferente cuando, cuando son, cuando son id expresiones idiomáticas propias del idioma. No se pueden traducir en inglés. Hay expresiones similares. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Nunca han visto una película y dicen, oh, man. Y en el subtítulo dice, oh, rayos. Mm -hmm. Y uno dice, hey, pero, pero no ahí, dice... ahí no dijo rayos, dijo, oh, hombre. Pero se oye raro que, que lo traduzca y diga, oh, hombre. Oh. ¿Me entienden? Entonces hay cosas similares. Se puede, eso se llama interpretar, no traducir. Oh. Y ahí es donde mucha gente se confunde cuando está viendo subtítulos. Como por ejemplo, Netflix. 
ya, o sea, sí está como 80%, pero hay gente que piensa que está palabra por palabra lo que están diciendo y no. Ya, especialmente películas así como de rap o, o algo así de que, que se imaginan alguien está haciendo una película de reggaetón en español y la va a traducir en inglés oh man pobrecita esa persona o sea, Ay, no. se va a quebrar la cabeza like, ¿cómo voy a interpretar esto so, en ese caso Irma that's the, that's the problem o sea, uh -huh. there are some expressions uh -huh. pero sometimes the expressions are only for Spanish or only for English uh -huh. ¿Cuál es otra expresión en español de que, que se le venga a la mente? Eh, al, uh, al César lo que es de César, algo así. Uh -huh. Hay una expresión en inglés muy famosa que dice when in Rome. Cuando están en uh -huh. Roma. Well, actually the complete sentence is when in Rome, do as Romans do. Pero es tan popular esa, esa expresión que people say, when in Rome, entonces si yo soy gringo y vengo, hey, recuerda que cuando estar en Roma, se va a quedar viendo a alguien. ¿Qué? Mm. Cuando mm. estar en Roma, no, 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 no va a tener sentido en inglés español. Lo que da a entender eso, esa expresión es, cuando uno está en Roma, has, hay que hacer lo que hacen los romanos, es como, hey, si vas a... Hey. Hacer lo mismo que hacen donde estás. Como en español que está eh, en la tierra que fueres, haz lo que vieres. Exactly. Yeah, ok, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Si uno va, I don't know, a un baile y no uno le gusta bailar, pero todo el mundo tiene que bailar, como, hey, let's dance. <laughs> Ni modo. Estamos en un lugar de baile. <laughs> Can, can you, oh, sorry, can you imagine going to Dominican Republic and not dance merengue? Uh -huh. Even if you don't like the merengue, but everywhere you go, I imagine there will be merengue music. Uh -huh. And you're a tourist, so hey, <clears throat> when in Rome, do as Romans do. Uh -huh. So, I said, look, yes, and todos. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an expression. Okay, it class. Depends. Yeah, I mean, it depends, yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. So, um, okay, class, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a very good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good Espero good no hayan tomado <laughs> mal, no hayan tomado mal la palabra fuck hoy. <laughs> Era algo no, que... it's a great <laughs> word. <laughs> no voy a decir, there's... <laughs> ¿Qué aprendieron ayer? Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. Uy, lo vamos a usar con toda conciencia. Ok. Ok. Bye, class. Ok, bye. Bye. bye.